We're good. Good. Thank you. Okay. Um, welcome everybody to the town of New Windsor June town board meeting. Before we get started, can get everybody to stand for the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance yes. to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, before we get started, we'll make our introductions. I got the town board with us. I got the deputy supervisor, Steve Moreau, Councilwoman Sylvia Santiago, Councilwoman Eve Lincoln, Councilman Charlie Bro, uh, town clerk Patricia Clarino, also in the, in the audience there. I got the receiver of taxes, Sue Scheibel. Um, I have our town attorney, Dave Zagon, our police lieutenant, Fred Fayo, our highway superintendent, Anthony Fayo, and on the IT specialist there is Daniel Barrett. First thing on the agenda here is public comments on the agenda allowed for uh, anybody who wants to speak anything on the agenda items for three minutes. Anybody there want to speak about anything on the agenda? Anything, Daniel? No? All right, we're going to move on here. <clears throat> First uh, motion here is the Town Board Town of New Windsor approved the minutes of the public hearing for proposed local law to amend Chapter 280 of the Town Code of the Town of New Windsor Vehicle and Traffic Law to add off-road vehicles prohibited and the minutes of the May 1st, 2024 Town Board meeting, each of which were held on May 1st, 2024 as per copies of the posted of the Town Clerk's Bulletin Board in the Town Hall and same distributed to each of the Town Board members. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Fidetti. Yes, this was passed last month for the police department. Gives them another tool there for to thwart these off-road vehicles in town. Receiving file, uh, hearing no objection, town board 10 new ones receiving file with the town clerks. The attached sealed bid received and publicly opened on May 9, 2024 for one cubic yard dump body and plow with land. I think I don't know, is that soon anything or does that take a year? Is that a Almost a year. Yeah, that's a year. Well, hopefully they'll go quick with it. I think that's done locally too, right? With the or Yeah, yeah Amthors. Yeah. Uh, motion to have New Windsor award a bid for one six cubic yard dump body and plow with the wing to Amthor Welding Incorporated, including the option of the extra tailgate for winter use without tailgate chutes, powder coated paint to match cab and total bid amount of 152150 as recommended by the Town Highway Superintendent and MHE Engineering DPC per its attached correspondence dated the 21st of May, 2024. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilwoman Lincoln. Yes. Councilwoman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Cadetti. Yes. Town Board Town New Windsor authorized the town clerk to advertise pursuant to law calling for sealed bids for the Birchwood and Butterhill drainage improvement project, which shall be received in publicly open on the 25th day of July 2024 at 11 a.m. local time at the office of the Town of New Windsor Town Clerk, 555 Union Avenue, New Windsor, New York. The Town Board and the Town of New Windsor reserves the right to reject any and all bids. Motion? Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Pedetti. Yes, this has been a long going drainage project that we're finally going to finish there in two different neighborhoods. Uh, most of this is going to be done underground, and most folks won't even know it's even happening. Um, there may be a couple spot digs, but hopefully not. <laughs> town Board Town of New Windsor hereby authorizes supervisors to enter into and execute the attached task order number 2404 with MHE Engineering DPC for engineering service in the amount not to exceed $24,999 related to providing assistance as needed the town's recently awarded MS4 mapping project. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilwoman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Pedetti. Yes, this is another unfunded mandate by the DEC that we have to uh, do. This is a pretty uh, pretty large task. We actually had to hire a couple of interns to help us do this. Um, and this actually is going to probably cause a little more work for our highway department that they don't need, but that's the state for you. Uh, receive and file and hearing no objection. Town New Windsor, uh, Town New Windsor hereby receive and file with the town clerk the attached warranties and construction closeout documents and the asbestos closeout documents received from Milcon Construction Corps from the Highway Garage Roof, Buildings and Grounds, and building and Brook Street Sewer Pump Station, Sewer Pump Station number 13 roof. Said documents is being 
received and filed as a full hard copy set consisting of two binders and one full electronic set consisting of one flash drive. I'll talk to that in a minute. Receive and file. Uh, hearing no objection, town board 10 new ones are hereby receiving file with the town clerk. The attached as built, as built, received from Milcon Construction Corp from the highway garage roof, buildings and grounds roof, and the Brook Street pump station, sewer pump station roof number 13. Receiving file, hearing no objections, town board 10 new ones are hereby receiving file. The town clerk, the attached maintenance bond number RCB 0041667N from RLI Insurance Company, in the amount of $824,655.34 for the highway garage roof. Buildings and grounds roof and the Brook Street sewer pump station number 13 roof project completed by Milcon Construction Corp. That's three. So these are the three roofs that the town undertaken. It took about a year or so, but they're done and they're in pretty good shape. Thank goodness. So we're up to par with almost all our roofs now. Town board 10 new ones are authorized to attempt, uh, supervisor to execute the attached contract number C013230 and substantially in the same form is annexed here too between the New York State Department of Environmental and Conservation and the new ones are in any and all full future amendments, contract modifications, or documents necessary to secure the continued funding for the provisions of temporary alternate source of drinking water until the time New York State provides a permanent solution for the PFAS contamination of the Butter Hill Wells. Motion? Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilwoman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Morrell. Yes. Supervisor Teddy. Yes. This is an agreement between the town of New Windsor and the New York State DEC who pays for our Catskill Aqueduct order. They reimburse us for it. Here, no objection. Town Board 10 New Windsor, pursuant to the resolution attached here to authorize the supervisor in conjunction with all other necessary town official, officers, employees, agents, and consultants pursuant, pursuant to the authority grant to New York State General Municipal Law 103.4. And the town procurement policy to take any and all steps necessary to immediately or as soon as possible replace all remaining pipe headers feeding the iron and manganese filtration filtration system at the butter hill treatment plant motion second roll call councilman bro yes. councilman lincoln yes. councilman santiago yes. councilman morrow yes supervisor Fidetti. yes these are at our butter hill wells these are um, metal header pipes that are being replaced with new plastic ones Receiving file, hearing no objections, town board 10 new ones are hereby receiving file with the town clerk, the attached fully executed letter agreement with MHE engineering for the additional professional service incorporating the design of advanced sludge treatment into the final design for upgrades and expansion of the Caesars Lane wastewater treatment plant and additional professional service not to exceed $510,000. This is again, uh, continued uh, progress here on our upgrading our new sewer plant on Caesar Lane from 5 MGD to 8 MGD. The town board town new are hereby amend the motion adopted at the regular meeting of the town board on June 1st, 2022 to establish standard work days for elected appointed officials. The attached amendment schedule hereby establishes the standard work days for elected and appointed officials and the town board hereby certify receipt of records of work activities or that the town maintains a record of actual time work. The day's work shall be reported to New York State and local employees retirement system based on the record of activities maintained and submitted by these officials to the clerk of his uh, and his body uh, based on the records maintained by the town clerk of actual time work. Motion. Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Murrow. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes. This is uh, any elected officials that opt to be in the um retirement system have to do a log when you first get elected for the first three months so this is governs that log that they do the town board town of new Windsor hereby authorize and approve the hiring of jessica dickinson as a full-time recreation director said employment shall commence effective january 8, 2024 motion move second roll call Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Fredetti. Yes. This is um we hired Jessica. Jessica, she was actually in today as well. Um, this has been a pretty long process. Um, I know Councilwoman Lincoln was heavily involved in it as well as doing interviews. Um, we interviewed several people. Jessica ended up being our candidate of choice. Uh, she's been in and out lately. She starts officially next Monday. Uh, she's replacing Matt, who did Matt Varanese, who did 18 years with us. Uh, we miss Matt. Matt did a great job for us. Um, and now Jessica has to has shoes to fill there, but I think she'll be okay with it. Town Board Ted New are hereby authorized and approved the promotion of James Conley from full-time labor to motor equipment operator, MAO, assigned to the Town New Highway Department. Said promotion shall commence effective June 15, 2024. Motion. 
Second. Pro Bo. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilwoman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Advisor Fidetti. Yes. James has worked for the town for several years. He's um he was in the as a labor in the highway department there. Uh, Anthony put his name forward. Uh, James does good work for us. We like him. He's been moved up. Uh, James, uh, I think the reason we have an MAO opening is because Joe Garzio and one of our employees in the highway department retired finally after 43 years. Joe did 43 years here, so we appreciate Joe for his work and uh, thank him for his time here for New Windsor. Town Board, Town New Windsor hereby authorize and approve the hiring of Kristen DeWitt as a full time clerk. Said employment shall commence effective June 15, 2024. Motion? Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes. Kristen is being hired for the police department as a police records clerk. She's replacing Kathy Ronsini, who did many, many years here, retired several months ago. Um, and we were able to find a candidate, and Kristen agreed to come on. So we thank her and wish her luck. The town board attending with the authorized uh, supervisor to negotiate, accept, award, and execute lease purchase agreement 1000150599 and all other necessary documents with JP Morgan Chase, NA for highway, sanitation, police, code enforcement, recreation vehicles in accordance with the resolution hereby adopted and attached hereto. Motion? Yes. Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Morales. Yes. Supervisor Pajetti. Yes. These are uh, several vehicles we got for each of the departments I just mentioned. They go out into like a, a little mini bidding process. The com comptroller does a lot of work on it to get to make that happen. She did it. They're ordered. We received some and we're still waiting for some. Hopefully they come in soon. Town Board, Town of New Windsor hereby amend the 2024 standard schedule of fees in accordance with resolution annexed hereto. Motion? Who? Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes, this fee that we added on here that we just had to upgrade, and I believe it might have been a little oversight, was the towing application fees. The application fee was the initial application fee was set at $1,000, um, and we just had to get that in there, so that's all set for. Chief to do as further applicants there. <clears throat> town Board Town New Windsor authorized the town clerk to advertise pursuant to law calling for sealed bids for the ADA improvements to the town hall complex project, which shall be received and publicly open on the 27th day of June 2024 at 11 a.m. local time at the office of the Town of New Windsor Town Clerk, 555 Union Avenue, New Windsor, New York. Town Board Town New Windsor re reserves the right to reject any and all bids. Motion? Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Pedetti. Yes, this is a continued um, upgrade to make our town hall and ADA compliant for disabled people and so on. Um, we've done several things and we're going to do several more. We're getting close to being complete with that project. Town Board 10 New Windsor pursuant to the resolution annex here too. And subject to permissive referendum, hereby determine the lease of town owned property, commonly known as 930 Rise Avenue, identified in the town of New Windsor's tax map section 91, block one, lot 13.2, is a type two action pursuant to the State Environmental Quality Review Act, requiring no further action, and further authorizes the supervisor to execute a lease in substantially the same form as annexed here too, for such property is in substantially the same form as a draft lease annexed here too, for annual rent at no less than $185,400 said rent to escalate at 3% per year for every year occupancy continues with the tenant paying for all uti utilities. Motion? Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Supervisor yes. Pedetti. Yes, this is a town hall building right now that's occupied by ARC, uh, ARC of Learning. The, their ARC, I believe, uh, is going out of business or moving on and abilities first uh, is taking over ARC's lease, if you will. Um, we're in the middle of negotiations with them. We're not quite done with it, so we should be done with it in a week or so. Hopefully, if we are, then we're going to sign that and continue the uh, education of those children in those, that school, which is a good thing. Town Board, Town New Windsor, authorized supervisors to get, execute the attached addendum to the December 2020 agreement between Riverkeeper Incorporated and the Town of New Windsor for the removal of the Walsh Road Dam, federal ID number New York 16280. Motion? Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilwoman Lincoln. Yes. Councilwoman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Bedetti. Yes, I'll talk to that in a minute. The town board time new ones are pursuant to the resolution 
attached here to hereby authorize the town supervisor to execute the attached full environmental assessment review, FEAF, declare its intent to serve as seeker lead agency in connection with the Riverkeeper Incorporated, removal of the Walsh Road Dam, federal ID number New York 16280, and authorize circulation of the town's notice of intent to serve as lead agency to all other involved interested agencies. Motion? Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau, Supervisor Petetti. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so this is on Walsh at the city line by the um, railroad overpass there. There's a bridge project being done right now, not to be confused with this dam project. The bridge project's being replaced. Um, I, I, I was down there the other day. It looks like it's got a little ways to go before that's done. Um, just west of the, on that same bank, there's a dam there that Riverkeeper is interested in removing. Riverkeeper doesn't have a governmental body. They need us to do seeker lead agency. Um, but we agreed to do it as long as it doesn't cost the town any money. Riverkeeper is going to expend all the rest of the money to have it removed and everything. And I believe it's for the fish to swim freely up, up river. So with the fish, fish free. The town board town of New Windsor, pursuant to town of New Windsor town code section 92-4, hereby consent to the town clerk waiving the outdoor amusement fee for the New Windsor Little League Carnival scheduled for June 12, 2024 through June 16, 2024, being promoted and sponsored by Gillette Shows Incorporated New Windsor Little League. Motion? Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Pedetti. Yes, this is our Little League, uh, local Little League field that um, that does this as a fundraiser. I know in the past there's been some concerns, but I know Lieutenant Fayo's on it and he's got a whole plan for those concerns not to happen at all this year, I hope. Um, but I do have to talk to you about that because I got some permission to park in some businesses down there. I think we'll help on the back end of that. Um, Town Board Town New Windsor authorized the solicitor's permit to Nicholas Day, Nicholas D. Minitolo, JM Mobile Concessions Incorporated, DBA, Nick's Hot Dogs, and Nick's Hot Dogs number two to operate mobile food services establishment selling hot dogs, snacks, and beverages. Permit shall be obtained from the town clerk's office. Motion? Move. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Pedetti. Yes. Nick's hot dogs is the hot dog truck you see up on the side of 300 there, 207, 300. Nick's a veteran, so we waived the fee for that. However, he does pay the $80 background fee that the uh, the police department has to do for us. Town Board Ten are hereby reappoint the following persons to serve as a member of the Ten Newinger Ethics Board for the term set forth below. Said term is to commence July 3rd, 2024. Member Lawrence D. Lissauer. Uh, and his term is a five-year term. Motion? Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor Pedetti. Yes, this is uh, Larry's the current chairman right now. Um, he's just being reappointed for another five years. Uh, this is an entire volunteer board that keeps us honest. As a matter of fact, keeps all the department heads on the straight and narrow and honest, and they do a good job for us. So we appreciate their volunteer work, if you will. <clears throat> Hearing no objection, Town Board Town New Windsor receiving file with the Town Clerk a letter of resignation submitted by Dominic Fayo received May 30, 2024, providing notification of his resignation from his position as police officer with the Town of New Windsor effective May 30, 2024. Dominic's been with us a, a little bit now. He came from the city of Newburgh and he wants to go back to the city of Newburgh. We wish him luck uh, and all the luck and safety uh, for him to every day. Um, he, Dominic, is a, he's a good cop for us. We're, Losing a, a good guy there, but again, we wish him luck. Hearing no objection, Town Board Town New Windsor hereby receive and file the attached fully executed task order number P248906 with Quality Environmental Solutions and Technologies Inquest for a pre construction survey related to the Community Development Block, block Grant CDBG ADA Accessibility Improvements at Town Hall Complex CDBG FY 2024, now FY 2023. Uh, this has to do with, again, the ADA project, and since New Windsor was project ready, we were getting funds earlier uh, than expected because a lot of people weren't ready for it. We were. Hearing no objection, Town Board 10 New Windsor receiving file with the Town Clerk, the attached audit report from the Town New Windsor from Nugent Hassler, PC certified public accounts for the year ending 2023. Um, again, if anybody saw our little uh, our workshop on Monday, they Justin Wood um, from New Hessler came and did a presentation, did a nice job. Um, he again, as we all do, thanked our comptroller for her work on uh, on this. She spent a lot of time, and it came out the audit came out good. 
Uh, another order here, receiving file, hearing no objection, town board, town new to receive and file the attached independent accountants report on applying agreed upon procedures dated to 15th of May, 2024, received from Nugent Hesso PC, evaluating the financial and accounting practices and procedures in the town new under justice court on December 31st, 2023. Uh, another received file, this audit was, I also talked to Justin about this, um, for the court, this was probably, since audit's been done in the court, has been the actual best audit. They've had, they had one um, gig, if you will, or mark, and it was something that even the auditor said there's probably, it's really impossible to actually do, um, but it's part of their audit process, so they have to do it, but they did a good job, so I thank the court for, for their good work on that. Uh, hearing no objection, town board tenure shall receive and file with the town clerk the attached monthly reports for the following departments of May 2024. Uh, Judge Calderon, Judge Myers, Police Department, Building Department, Recreation Department, Tax receiver, utility report, town clerk, and New England's emergency medical services. Um, I did notice, I, I look at these reports every month. Um, the town board gets them too. The, um, I did notice the EMS had actually a record month of calls, like 420, 430 calls for the month. Um, and they did a lot of transports too. So um, they, uh, we thank their service too. Just, um, well, I'll go to the public forum. Anybody got anything they want to? talk about or got on their mind nothing we got a big crowd out there people can't see in the back so i'm gonna tell them we got probably 75 80 people back there right <laughs> we um <laughs> but um so i just i do want to I, I, you know again thank we did have uh, an officer mike massiplus uh retire 36 years with the town of new windsor uh they had a little walkout for him i'd like to thank mike for his service 36 years it's a long time for uh not only the town but in police work especially today um, again, Joe Garziano for 43 years uh, with the Highway Department, Matt Veronese, the 18, and then Dominic Fayo for his time here with the police department. We appreciate all their work. Hearing nobody else that want to talk, Town Board Town New Windsor adjourned the Town Board meeting at 7.22 p.m. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Bro. Yes. Councilman Lincoln. Yes. Councilman Santiago. Yes. Councilman Moreau. Yes. Supervisor today. Yes. Thank you, everyone.